Now, from Shetland to space, plans for the UK's first ever satellite launch have taken a big step forward in Unst. Aerospace giant Lockheed Martin have selected the rocket it will use with an inaugural flight planned for next year. John Johnson reports. At 27 metres tall, this is the rocket that will blast off from Shetland. On board is a space tug. It'll drop off the satellites, many no bigger than a shoebox, into orbit. It travels around in space, actually in low Earth orbit, and it drops off their CubeSats, these small, six U as we refer to them, small sort of loaf of uh, bread sized satellites into different places in space. Last year saw the first test rocket fired from Shetland. The Skylark Nano reached an altitude of 20,000 feet. Plans have been submitted by the Shetland Space Centre to build three launch sites here on the Lamaness Peninsula in Unst. What Shetland has is, because of its geography, because of its, its, its latitude, it gives you really good access into specific orbits, especially for these smaller satellites operating at low Earth orbit, things like um, satellites that do Earth observation, that monitor climate change. Scotland's space industry is growing, but the missing link is we're not able to fire them from our own soil. Over 7,000 people work in the sector. It's worth over £130 million to the economy. A number of high-tech companies are already building them, and over 100 Scottish satellites are in orbit. The market is expanding rapidly. It's really been driven by consumer electronics and the fact that we can now do so much with really cheap electronics and we can now use those electronics in space. If all goes to plan, Lockheed Martin hopes to have one of the first commercial rockets fired from Scotland as early as 2022. John Johnston reporting Scotland, Shetland. Well, it's time now for a look at the weather. And Cosmo, you've been studying the satellite images very closely. Let me guess. <laughs> snow, snow and a bit more snow. Indeed, there are <laughs> snow showers on the forecast. The beast from the east, as it's termed, Laura. Indeed, thank you. Good evening to you. So, the beast from the east, these brisk east to northeasterly winds drawing in those snow showers off the North Sea. And this was a scene captured by one of our weather watchers earlier today in a Boyne in Aberdeenshire. Now, already a Boyne has seen a lot of snowfall this winter. But today, at five o'clock this evening, snow depths recorded were 30 centimetres here, so significant snowfall. And from the radar, the image from space, from satellites, we are continuing to see those stream of those snow showers coming in across parts of the east, central areas, but a lot of dry weather across the west. And in fact, we saw some good spells of sunshine. And this is a similar setup for the next few days. So then, for the rest of tonight, well, we do have a Met Office yellow weather warning for the snow showers across the Northern Isles, the east, into the central belt. Now, this warning is valid all the way through to the end of Wednesday. So we're expecting further snow showers as we head through the tonight as well. And it's during the early hours, these showers could merge together across central parts of Scotland, bringing some significant accumulations here. And it's for this reason, the Met Office have issued an amber second tier weather warning for parts of North Lanarkshire, East and West and Bartonshire, into Stirlingshire, Perthshire and for Fife. Now this valid comes into effect from three o'clock in the morning through to nine o'clock tomorrow evening. Quite widely within this warning area, there could be five to 10 centimetres and potentially up to 20 centimetres over the higher parts of the central belt. And overnight tonight, it will be bitterly cold. Temperatures widely well below freezing. For Inverness, maybe down to minus nine Celsius here, and there is the potential of it becoming the coldest night of the winter so far. Minus 14, minus 15 Celsius is not out of the question in the countryside in the north. So a bitter cold day tomorrow, those showers still merging together across central parts, but a lot of dry weather too, some good spells of sunshine. So for three o'clock in the afternoon, for Dumfries and Galloway, into Ayrshire, into Argyll and Butte and the Highlands and Islands, a lot of dry weather, some good spells of sunshine. But those snow showers continue across the borders, the central belt, into Perthshire, Aberdeenshire, all the way up to North Highland and the Northern Isles and staying very cold. So temperatures for most spots staying close to freezing, but you add on the wind chill and it will feel that much colder, more like minus four to minus five Celsius. Now midweek Wednesday, high pressure will start to build, so drier weather, but we are keeping an eye on the system here, the potential of more snow to the end of the week. And that's your forecast. Thank you very much, Cosa. Now a reminder of tonight's main news. Data obtained by Police Scotland suggests accommodation rental websites are being used increasingly to book properties for illegal parties. Figures from August to mid-January revealed police were called out nearly 7,000 times to break up house parties, with some officers bitten, punched and abused. 
And the former First Minister Alex Salmond will not appear tomorrow before the Holyrood Committee investigating the Scottish Government's mishandling of harassment complaints against him. Mr Salmond's in dispute with the committee about how much of his written evidence can be published. Discussions between the Parliament and Mr Salmond's lawyers continue. And that is Reporting Scotland. We will have a late bulletin for you just after the 10 o'clock news, including an up-to-date weather forecast. Until then, from everyone here on the team right across the country, do have a very good evening and stay warm. Bye-bye.